What is IP virtualization? We know that every device equipped with a network card is assigned with a unique IP address when connected to a computer network. It can be a static IP address manually set or a dynamic IP address automatically assigned by the DHCP server. Within a remote desktop solution, both the host and the terminal devices have their LAN IP address for location addressing or network interface identification so that the terminal device can connect to the host and the IT administrator can manage the terminal devices from the host. But after users log into the system, as the user session are host in the shared host rather than the terminal devices, applications running in the user session do not use the terminal device's IP address, but the host IP addresses. As a result, the single IP address of the host will be shared by all users for network communication. Sharing IP address by multiple users can cause problems for some remote access applications, web filters, session control software such as CRM and CDI or any software that manage user sessions by their IP address. IP virtualization will benefit most mentioned cases. It allows unique IP addresses for each user sessions on the host for its network communication. Let's see how it helps. This demo software is a network management tool which identifies users by their IP address. From the monitoring panel, we see that there are four connecting devices, but the three terminal devices have no network activity even though we actually have three users running in the system. Now let's see how it works with IP virtualization enable. There are three more items shown in the list. They share the same MAC address of the host but each has an independent IP address and network activity. How to configure IP virtualization? Things to know before configuration. IP virtualization works only for cases where you have applications that require unique IP addresses for each user session. If you are only setting static IP addresses for the terminal devices, you simply go to the device management page at the server manager and right click the selected devices to enter the network interface. Make sure your local network has sufficient IP address in the IP address pool. When IP virtualization is activated, the total number of LAN IP addresses used will be doubled as before. Besides the IP address used by the terminal devices, each terminal user will have an additional virtual IP address on the shared host for network communication. It requires certain network knowledge to configure IP virtualization. Incorrect configuration may cause IP conflict or network failure. How to configure? Before you configure IP virtualization, you have to set static IP address for the shared host. And then go to the IP virtualization page at the server manager. Select to enable IP virtualization and then select a network card, confirm the subnet mask. There are three options to assign IP addresses to users. You can allocate a range of dynamic IP addresses for example, state from 101 and end at 200, or specify a list of dynamic IP addresses, for example, 101, 111, 121. 
or assign static IP addresses for designated users. For example, 101 to user 1, 102 to user 2, 103 to user 3. Or you can allocate specific static IP addresses to some users and range of list of dynamic IP addresses to other users. For example, 101 to user 1, 102 to user 2, and 111 to 199 randomly to other users.